it's not optimal. So what we've got right here is your anchor chain, 100% anchor chain is tied to the rope and the rope is tied to an eye inside the boat. In the bottom of the locker, yeah. So the good part is, we'll call that well-intentioned. The fact is, this is two half hitches that's coming undone. Right. And also, you want this to be spliced, a rope to chain splice. So it will feed so it'll feed up through that anchor chain gypsy. Okay. So you want that to come through the gypsy? Want it to come through the gypsy, okay. come up on deck, and then you can cut it on deck. Okay. So you're down there in that hole. You don't want to have to go down there in that hole if in case of an emergency you have to cut it loose. Right. Because we had to pull that anchor out, pull all of this spare rope out for you to get down there in the hole. Yeah. So this was what I'll call good intentions, but factually not relevant. All right, so the idea would be you want that whole, this whole backing to come through the gypsy. So if you're hung up on an anchor and you got to get going for some reason, you can come up here with a knife and just cut that and dump the ground tackle and be gone. Is okay, so idea? you say come up here. I'm, I'm actually saying right go here. on the foredeck yeah. right there. Right there with a knife and cut this backing and, and dump you, the ground tackle. Correct. Okay. Now, if you're not in a hurry, you don't have to cut it. You can tie uh, a fender to it because fenders have got about 40 pounds of buoyancy and then you can tie it to the chain and you can hire towboat US or sea tow and they can bring a scuba diver out and find come it. Come get it. Yeah, yeah. Because your 40 pound Bruce anchor stainless steel that's worth maybe a grand. Yeah. And then if this chain is expensive you've got about 300 feet worth of galvanized chain that's expensive so you don't want to lose it. Okay. All but right. you want to save the boat and come back and get this later. Yeah. So if this rope is pliable enough, go ahead and use two hands and untwist that. Use two hands and untwist it. Okay, that can be spliced. That's soft enough that you can splice that. Okay. So you can do what's called a rope to chain Change splice. Point. So you will actually... Let me take that bottom link off. Well, link yeah, take, take one or two of those rusty links off. Yeah. And everybody says, well, I'll get a bolt cutter and cut it. Not going to happen. Right. You need a mini grinder with yeah. the carbide wheel. Yeah, I got one of them. I can, got a Milwaukee. It'll go right through that. Okay, so, so yeah. now you don't want to do it on the boat. You want to do it overboard so all those fine metal shavings go overboard. Okay. Or take the boat, turn it around, and, and it take the, the chain up in the parking lot. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to drag the chain across your 40 foot deck. Yeah. So next. This is melted coast, which is good, but you've got three strands. So this whole thing won't fit through that hole. Right. So it won't fit through the link. So you take them through one at a time. Okay. And then you splice it together. So basically it's going to be three lengths. This thing laid in against three lengths when you splice it. So it's Well, we'll, we'll cut it. We'll put it right there. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this link off, throw those away. Yeah. We'll go to good metal. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll splice it called a rope to chain splice. There's a lot of books for that and yep. you can probably find it on YouTube too. Okay. So right now we're we're figuring you've got 300 feet of chain. Go ahead and finish tying that with a good half hitch. And that's what we've got to deal with today. Okay. So in the future, that's another action item that you've got to take care of. Okay. Now, is there anything on the boat called an anchor snubber or a bridle? I have not seen one. So we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. You cannot anchor this boat to the anchor chain. You need some sort of an elastic device, which is a snubber, which is a rope with a chain grabber or a chain hook to hook onto the chain. So even though this is rope to you, this is elastic right. in a chain snubber or a chain grabber operation. Right. So we'll yeah, have well, to talk just, about that. Yeah, just on our boat, we got, I don't know, 20 feet of stainless chain. So I always let some rope over the side, even if I don't need it, because it's, it's a lot less wear and tear on the boat. And on the windlass yeah. and on the, the Samson post right yeah. here. Jack, there's no elasticity in that. So. True. All right, cool.